This video guide will help you to understand how to use your new Chromebook. To start using the Chromebook, you simply need to enter in your username, which is your full school email address, and password, which is the same one that you use to log into Windows. Once you are logged in, you will notice that the screen is similar to what you see when you log on to your PC computer. However, there are no icons on the desktop, only a taskbar and a system tray on the bottom. The first icon on the left is the Chrome icon. When you click on this icon, a new Chrome browser window will open. This is just like using Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Mozilla Firefox. The second icon is your school email account. Click on the Gmail icon. Your school email will pop up. Because I have an application open right now, I do see an extra icon down here. When you first open your Chromebook, you will only have the Chrome, Gmail, and then this icon that looks like a checkerboard. This is the apps icon. This is how you access the apps that you have added to your Chromebook, as well as where you can access the Chrome Web Store to find more apps. Here you can see the apps that I have, and I can go through the pages by clicking on the sliding marks on the bottom. On the right, you will see the time, your Wi-Fi connection, your battery life, and the picture that you chose when you set up your Chromebook. If you're at home and you need to connect to your home Wi-Fi connection, simply click on the Wi-Fi symbol and choose the wireless network that you want to connect to and enter in the password if necessary. You can also sign out of your Chromebook from here. To start browsing the internet, you're going to click on the Chrome icon. The address bar and the search bar are now one, and it's called the Omni bar. You can enter in a URL such as mcpasd.k12.wi.us, or you can search for something by typing in a search term and pressing enter on the keyboard. To open a new tab, click on the plus button. To switch between open tabs, simply click at the tab at the top, and it will switch to whichever tab you would like to be at the front. You can bookmark pages by clicking on the star on the Omnibar, and then you can name it and click Done when you're ready. You can also create folders and edit your bookmarks. Here you can add a new folder and give it a name such as School folder. I'd save that, and then any of my school bookmarks I would put in there. You can use any app on your Chromebook that runs in a web browser. These include the Google Apps Productivity Suite, apps from the Chrome Web Store, and custom-built tools installed by your administrator. Open a new tab. Here you will see websites that you have visited recently. If you click on one of these icons, it will open. When you sign into your Chromebook with a Google Apps account, you can access one or more of the following Google Apps, depending on which have been enabled by your administrator. Some of these, such as Gmail, Open others by clicking at the link at the top of your Gmail window. So if I go to my school mail, I can open my Google Drive, which has all of my document spreadsheets and any other documents that I had created in my school Google account. I can also do groups, websites, contacts, images, calendar. Any of the Google apps can be used in the Chromebook browser. You can add more apps to your Chromebook by going to the Chrome Web Store. Here you'll find apps to do a lot of the things that you would do on a PC, such as editing videos, audio, playing games, and finding learning activities for your students. Just as on a PC, you will find that many of these apps are free. To go to the Web Store, you can either in a new tab go to the Web Store down here, or go to the apps icon and click on the Chrome Web Store here. The apps are organized into different categories. I find a lot of my apps that I use in business tools and education. If you find an app that you would like to add to your Chromebook, simply hold your mouse over that app 
and click on the Add to Chrome button. On the Confirm screen, click on the Add button. It will then show up in your apps if you click on your apps icon. It will always show up at the last slot, so you have to go to the end. Use the slash marks at the bottom to move through the pages. To close an app, you just close the X at the top and it will close just like a browser window. To log out of the Chromebook, you click on the Wi-Fi symbol and click on Sign Out. When you are using a shared machine, it is advisable that you log out each time that you are finished with the machine. If you have any questions, please contact your building tech integrator or the help desk at 9036.